Okay, this video is used how to use uh, Raymarine, uh, the new fish finder element, uh, auto chart life. Um, this auto chart life is very, very nice function because it doesn't require the Navionics um, annual subscription. So here's how you do it. You turn on the machine and then you're going to come to this main menu and you just uh, hit OK on this uh, chart. Once you hit OK, um, you go to this manual button on the upper right hand side and you move your cursor down to this bottom thing where it's setting. Um, let me give you a tip here. This uh, cursor thing, you don't have to go all the way straight down. You can actually go up and that because it's a looping thing. So it will actually go down to the, to the bottom faster. Because um, as you can see, you're you know tra trying to use this rocker button, it's um, direction button, which is a pain in the neck. If you have to, you know, press it again and again, going down. But if you go up, it's only one click. And then once you are in the setting, you click OK, and now you're seeing chart setting screen. And the next thing you want to do is you don't want to choose CMAP or Navionics chart. You want to choose Lighthouse charts, which is the uh, Raymarine in-house um, charts. So you click OK again. Um, sorry, you want to choose that, but then you want to move your cursor because right now it's in the uh, cartography. You want to move that over to uh, setup and then to depths. That's where you will see, move the cursor down, that's where you will see the uh, real Bethy here, as you can see here. Okay, real Bethy. Enable that button, okay, because I just hit OK, and that's disable the real Bethy. You want to enable that, and now you're in business, okay. Now you can uh, use the real Bethy. It will start doing the auto uh, charting or mapping of your water depths. Um, and then you also want to make sure this record uh, depth data is enabled. So this way, uh, it, it will record the data into the uh, micro SD card. Make sure you have a, a micro SD card inserted in the back of the fish finder. Otherwise, um, you know, and that's it. Your hands free and you can do um, real bathy. It will track the uh, data for you. Um, the depth contour here, I'm not sure what this is. Let me decrease this. Uh, it doesn't matter. It won't, it won't let me do anything. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay. Depth contour, interesting. Okay, it was uh, 10 feet. I don't want 10 feet, I want a 5 feet. So let me change that to 5 feet. Um, let's see what else I want to change. Um, let's move the cursor up to uh, depth. Move it over to setup. And then uh, the chart, chart orientation is north up. You can always change it to uh, boat up or something like that. Uh, you know, head up or you know, boat north up. I like to have the north up, so this way I know exactly where the north is. Um, let's see what else. Um, I also want to, um, yeah, let's go to the track uh, routes tracks. I also want to disable the tracking um, right here track uh, tracks. Um, let me see, routes, tracks, um, okay, so I guess I need to go somewhere else to um, disable the tracking, stop the tracking I meant, let me see if I can stop the tracking, okay, and then uh, routes, tracks, oh, here we go, I see the stop tracks over here, so what you want to do is, you want to, um, get over to here use your rocker panel here the the you know for the direction then once you are here you change it to um, where is it track stopped what do you want to do with your track uh, whatever I did I want to save it okay so save that but now it's not going to track and can see that you know so if, if I move it up so now um, it won't um, give me those tracking lines that uh, mess up with my auto or uh, real bathy auto chart uh, real bathy the other thing I want to see if I can do 
um, yeah, so it's in the route and tracks to uh, disable the tracking. So this is why I don't have that many uh, tracking lines. Uh, let's get out of here, but um, let me see. Yeah, let's get out of here. Um, the other thing I want to do is I want to see the track. Oh, yeah, I, on the chart, um, on this auto chart, I like to be able to have the data. Let me see if I can do the data. There we go. I want to add the GPS. I don't know if I can do that. Here we go. So data box. Um, I have to speed over the ground. Number three, I forgot to add. So let me see if I can add something here. Uh, so I need to hit OK. I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, hit OK. Go down. Depths. Local time. Let me add something here. I want to add... Um, yeah, add it. I'm going to add uh, GPS. There we go. There is GPS. So hit OK. Um, GPS. Course over ground. Speed over ground. Select GPS data. Oh, yeah, I can have the GPS coordinates because this is course over ground, which I don't want. These I don't want. None of these I want. Thing I want. Okay, so I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Um, so that's the uh, data chart uh, I just set up for the uh, charting. Let's get out of here. Go back to the go back to home, and let's go to these uh, sonar. See if we can lay the data box. Uh, should show no transducer uh, connected. It. Yep. No, I didn't connect the transducer yet. So I guess I have to connect the transducer in order to uh, enable the GPS. Um, uh, but let me find out what the GPS uh, vest vest is. Um, oh yeah, it is. So it it will show the GPS. Uh, coordinates uh, in the lower hand corner here, which is what I'm looking for. So uh, one of these are local time, speed over ground, you know, as soon as I get on the, the, the and then I'll be able to see exactly where my boat position is because the coordinates is here. And uh, let me do that again. You press the menu on the upper right hand side, you go to routes and tracks, hit OK again, and then you um, thought that's where it was. Um, I want to do the data overlay. So, okay, sorry. Um, get out of here. Let's go. This is the return button. Um, press uh, that again, and then go to go to the bottom. Oh, I should use the go up. And then, oh yeah, it's in the chart settings. So you want to go to the chart settings. Go to the data box. Hit OK. And move your cursor down you can see this is the so if you want the GPS coordinates show up on the chart you need to do this uh, at this data element which is the vast pose vast pose I have the depths here you know but uh, vast pose um, so that's uh, that's um, okay that's uh, what's going to show you maybe I should move the GPS coordinates over to this upper right -hand corner and move the depth over and corner you know switch these two local time is okay speed over ground it's okay i just don't care well whatever i think this is good enough so there you have it